Now well, this is a little further along in my project if I complete the project completely. But anyway, these things here are made spring shackles I made. I found these pieces here at a yard sale or something and some junk. And they work about right for putting that in. I've got a sleeve inside here. And when I put these washers, I'll well, show you better on this one over here. That's pretty good now. Anyway, I'll put this in here because this is slotted. It can only go so far because it's got these lips on there. But put this washer in there, that'll hold it pretty much up there where it belongs. Now the weld ain't very beautiful in the first place. In the second place, it ain't done. But uh, the shackles look to me like they're going to work just fine. They're just a little over center backwards, so they'll you know it'll, it'll go. You can't have it straight them down, or of course it'll just be solid. But uh, it's enough to where when you push down on it, they I can't push it too hard. But it'll move back like it's supposed to. And the front ones up there, they're fixed, so that don't uh, that don't affect anything really the way they are. But like I said, I'm going to put a if I've had some point with this hammer ain't very good, but put a gusset from here to there because there's not a whole lot holding underneath there. And then uh, likewise over here on this one, uh, gusset right through there. And like I said, it did have. Uh, let me back this up a little bit. It will. Okay. I don't know if you can see that very good or not, but it did have. Uh, it's got a springs on it now, whereas the other one was this one over here which had coil springs and for and I didn't like that idea the differential sets over to the side so I put this one in here so that it is uh, in the center and uh, anyway there's a little ditty on about the uh, uh, spring shackles and what have you here the other side of course is the same and then this is the same as that and over here and over there so I'm just going to get busy and try to install these washers so that don't uh, move around too much and put some Loctite on the uh, nuts and everything and anyway that's just a, about the name of that tune of course I have to do the shock, the shock absorbers and all that don't know that uh, uh, don't know exactly what I'm going to do about this bracing I think it'll be alright and uh, put a universal joint in between the in between that differential down here and uh, in the transmission. Anyway, that's just a little bit on that. I know it's not very accurate, not very good, but as a matter of fact, it's going to be a long time progress on this thing because it's getting cold weather right now. Alrighty, well, had a minor malfunction here. This thing here came unwelded, which that's probably a good thing because I'm going to go ahead and take it loose. And I'm going to set this instead of under here flush against that. That's going to give me a little more pitch backward, which we need for the spring shackles. Uh, I knew it was only tacked on because I didn't, and it looks like a crappy job of welding, so don't make fun of that. I know that. I'm not a good welder. But anyway, we uh, after I got the bolts, the washers, all that stuff in here, and pushed down on it, I imagine I had this a little too tight right here. I got locked tight so that there can be some pivot to it. But in any case, that uh, pushed down, it broke that loose from right here, which, as I say, should have been under here, and it's up here now. The other side is about to give loose too, which that's another good thing because I want to move them backwards this extra two inches or whatever it is here, and uh, that's going to give me a little more pitch on these. It wasn't straight up and down to begin with, but I guess it was a little too much straight up and down. Plus these bolts are just the right size for the holes and all that. And I did get my shims in here to uh, so it'll set against these little flanges and everything like that. So that part's all right. It's just a learn by doing and uh, do when you got time type of thing anyway and also when the weather's right but anyway and again this is the differential here and I got this was off an electric cart and I uh, got that little gizmo on there so I'm gonna have to do a balance deal on that for the for the dry shafts and uh, I don't know sometime I'll get busy and show you the transmission it's a little old uh, what is that thing uh, T91 or T92 out of a Carly car and then out of a some couple, couple different uh, kinds of little tractors using. Okay, well that's all I'm gonna do out here this evening. It's starting to get a little chilly out here, and and I'm kind of don't like cold weather that much. But in any case, that's what we're doing. I showed you a while ago, but maybe not a very good picture. This is the rear end that came out of it. It was a 
sling arm deal had some springs on it so that's what we're taking and changed out uh, might have been a mistake doing that but it's something to do all right well there again thanks for watching thanks for subscribing we're going to talk to you later